praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again this hour, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on where you are watching me from. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. You can see I just came to my balcony. I said, let me try because I just love the song. The weather, I change it, but there is a dog nearby here. He's always shouting, you know. Please bear with me because of the disturbances of the dog. Amen, somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters in law, this is another new day that the Lord has made. The Bible says we should continue to be, you know, rejoicing in it. Hallelujah. Because you are a child of God. The thought he has for you is a thought of good, not for evil, to reach a very good expected end. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in law, my name is Mrs. Evangelist Egoma, and I'm based in a city called Verona here in Italy city. Italy, I beg your pardon. Beloved, I'm begging you, beseeching you to please help me to use this my platform to share to your all, all your contact list. Help me to do the work of God. Let us do the work of our Heavenly Fathers together. And as we are doing this, you know, we began to see glorious days every day of our individual lives. Amen. I want you to help me to share, to like. Just press that like as you are listening now. If you have subscribed, may God richly bless you. But if you haven't done so, subscribe. Also, I encourage people to subscribe. Amen. The word of God is for correction. Many of us, we are going to church. We are doing mistakes, series of mistakes. And when we pray, our prayer is not hitting the ceiling. We don't know it's because we are not listening carefully to the word of God. Word of God is life. Amen. Let us begin to humble ourselves so that through the power of God that is in us, through the word of God we are obeying to, we begin to see a turn around. In those things we think that Marte cannot move, that sits like Marte before us. Amen. But before we go for the word of God, let us pray. Everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages, the omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscience God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Once again, your word is about to come, Father, as many that are looking it to know to this platform right now, whenever, what, what time, Father, let this word transform them. Let it break yokes out of their individual life. Let it make them from nobody to somebody great, from a zero to a hero, from a, you know, a victim to a victor, to a victorious man and woman, to a virtue man and woman. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of destruction, every spirit of devourer, we silence them right now. In Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, the last time I spoke concerning a title, You Are the Mouth of God. But this time around, I want us to see the power of declaration. Since as a child of God, you are the mouth of God, the power of, de of uh, declaration. When you decree, Bible says, Heaven will make it to be the way you want it to be. Amen. But come with me to the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, that says, This is the confidence I have in him. When I ask according to his will, I believe that he is going to do it for me. Amen. This is the confidence I have in him. When I ask according to his will, and I know he will do it for us. You are a child of God. The book of John, first John was letting me and you know as a child of God. It's like when we believe in our hearts, we use our mouth to proclaim that he is the son of God, that he's the Lord of our life. We know him as the savior of our time. Amen. And he's the same God of yesterday, today and forever. So when you declare, you will see the manifestation of what you are declaring. I have so many examples to prove to you in order to convince you you just need faith to keep on moving the race of this uh, salvation of it hallelujah somebody the book of proverbs chapter 18 21 says say the power of life and death is in your tongues hallelujah the power of life and death is in your son it's in your tongue i beg your pardon so when you believe in that word of god you use your mouth to proclaim it, and heaven will make it manifest. And remember, the word of God is here. And amen. Has He said it that He has not done it? So I'm here here this hour once again, beloved, to bring up points for you. I want to be saying your spirit every time. You need salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Somebody, many of us we are children of God, but the faith is not there. We are dumbass. 
We don't want to exercise the spiritual life. We need to do all these things. I don't know where you, where you are listening from. Are you a child of God? The power of life and death is in your tongue. Are you going to use your mouth to proclaim it? Hallelujah, somebody. What did Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 says? He said, he who started that good thing in your life, he will bring it to a good perfection, to a good conclusion. Many of us think that matter cannot be moved. My sickness cannot be healed. This problem cannot be solved. This my school cannot have it. Who told you? Have you tried it? This is the confidence I have in him. When I ask according to his will, not outside his will, because the book of uh, Galatians 5 from 16 said, when you are asking out of his will, he said that is a wrong asking. Hallelujah, somebody. So I want you to know the power of declaration, declaring the word of God, believing in your heart and confessing in your mouth that he is a child, you are a child of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want you to continue to use your mouth to continue to declare that you want God to do for you. Last time I gave an example of Jabez. I gave of Hannah. Amen. I want to take you to the book of Genesis 22 verse 7 and 8 when God wants to test the faith of Abraham. Many of us have been tested but we fail woefully. Like when I used that woman of uh, Palestine last time that was saying, oh, the son of the son of God, the son of God, come and help me. Have mercy on me. At a time, the disciples wanted to stop him. Ah, I beg your pardon. But Jesus stood and replied to the woman. It was a, a, a word of test. And the woman answered by proclaiming, by saying, even though the leftover that the dog ate, the children ate remain, they are still good for the dogs. He said, what a woman of a great faith. We need to use our mouth to declare good things, to say something. Like I gave an example, we are the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Some group of women that their father died. The constitution that was laid down was that nobody, that do, anyone that doesn't have a male child, once he died, his name will be erased from that clan. All the property, they will, they will just share it among themselves. That person will be totally forgotten. But this group of ladies, they came out. They used their mouth to, to say something, the power of declaration. And their father inheritor were given back to them. I use it to, to, to cite an example. But here again, Abraham was on a test. He wanted to go and use his son, only son God gave him at his old age to do sacrifice. But he got to a point when Abraham told his servant to stay behind, he went away with his son. But when they moved ahead, his son said, Daddy, what are we going to use? Where is the ram? Abraham replied in verse 7. He said, God will provide. But in verse 8 of that Genesis chapter 22, beloved, the Bible says, as he raised the cutlass to cut the neck of the son, he heard the voice of an angel. He said, stop. This is a ram you will use. He proclaimed, God will provide a ram. Beloved brothers and sisters, that is why Hebrew 11 once said, faith and evidence of something you haven't seen. But you believe in it and you claim it. You have to be saying it. Keep on saying it. Don't stop talking it. You will see wars and you will see rumors of war. We got to declare that the talk God has for you is a thought of good, not for evil. Jeremiah 29, 11. The promises he said concerning you is of good, not for evil, to reach a very good expected end. And the book of Philippians 1, 6 said, he who started that good thing will bring them to a good perfection. But I want to start an example here. People are saying wars and rumors of war. Matthew 24, 6 said, see that ye be not trouble. All these things, they will come to pass. If at all the end is not yet. The Bible says in the book of First Peter 5, 1, 8, he said the enemy, the devil, they are adversary, is going around 2, 4, 7 to see who he will devour. Be bold and courageous. This was how Samson wants to go and have a wife. He has already told the parents he's going to Palestine to have a wife for himself. But not unknowingly to him that the enemy turned to a little lion, want to devour him. The power of God came upon him. They said he turned it, he, he, he break the, 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 the neck of, of the small lion as if he was cutting the neck of a small chicken. Beloved brothers and sisters, 
Your destiny lies in your hand. It's not in the hand of those witches and wizards. It's not in the, the, the hand of those that are giving jobs to people. Or in, in, in your country, where we, we have Nigerians today, that the president, they are messing up the nation. The, the, the nation is in a state of job ready, as we are talking. Uh, inflation, isolation, so many things is happening. But the Bible says, wherever you set your foot, you will possess your possession. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you going to claim the one God says concerning you as a child of God? Remember, you are in this world. You are not of the world. Continue to use the word of God to move ahead in your life. I'm not here to use all this waste to come and stir up your spirit once again. The word of God is to strengthen you. Every time we are coming to stir up your spirit so that you will not be weary. You will not be backsliding. You will not be weak. You will not lose faith. Beloved brothers and sisters, these are points Abraham declares that God will provide. That is faith. Hebrew 11, 1. We just saw in the life of Abraham and his son there. He said, God will provide the ram. And really, when he wants to cut the neck of the son, he heard the voice of the angel. He said, stop. This is the ram. Use it. Abraham saw it. He, he did not even see. He knew the God that is serving. How far did you trust your God? Are you going to be be like those people that say they are going to church, they will still go and meet a native daughter. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you a child of God? Did heaven recognize you? I want you to know all these things. Power of declaration. That is what we are deliberating on this hour. As a child of God. I want to set another example again. In the book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. When the Israelites saw that the magician that Pharaoh sent to follow the mother of 600 chariots. To come and turn them back. They were at the front of the sea. And the enemy were at the back. They were shivering really. But God told Moses, why? Move on. Go closer. What do you have in your hand? Let, he let them know that. They need not to be shivering because your condition you are passing through now, maybe you are waving, you are shivering. You are afraid, you, your own is that. Can I turn back? But God is telling you to move ahead. All this scripture is for you to set an example and use it to correct your mistakes. That is why we read the word of God. We listen to different great men and women of God in order to exercise our spiritual life. Like the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 20 says, it says, speak in tongues to exercise your spiritual life. Beloved brothers and sisters, are you a child of God? If you are a child of God, these are the area. This is the lane you have to stand as a child of God. Not using the worldly things to be missing the things of God. It will not work. Those who want to serve God, they will serve God continuously in spirit and in truth. They were waving. But God let them know that they have to move forward. Moses, what do you have in your hand? He said, stretch it. Then Moses gave them a word of courage. This is the area I want you to know. He said, the Egyptian you see today, you will see them no more. Hallelujah. Not quite long there. When they crossed the sea, the, 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 the chariot men were coming. They all drawn. The declaration of the power of the word of God from the mouth of Moses, the prophet, manifested immediately. What is that thing that is frustrating you now as you are listening to me? What kind of words you are using from the scripture to bring them down? We remember the storm when Jesus was in the boat with his disciples. They were all willing. Oh, we are about to die. We are about to die. Oh, Jesus now calmed the storm. He said, how long have you been with me? Today, brothers and sisters, this is a question to you and me. How long have we said we are, in the, we are serving God, we are listening to the words of God, yet we are not applying them? He said, oh, men of lift your faith. In the book of Luke, Jesus was telling his disciples. He said, who are you of a little faith? How long are you going to stay with me? He said of that to declare, Jesus declared, we are the match of God. We are the match of God. Let us see the example from Jesus. Let us see the way he performed during the ministry here on earth before he went ascend to heaven to go and meet our heavenly father. Let us begin to use all these examples. Let us not begin to be, 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 be weak, not allow witches and wizards to get hold of our environment and be toying with us every time. Fear is not of the Lord. We neither be cold or we are warm. The Bible says not. It's going to split up and according to the book of Revelation. Let us know all these things and begin to bring them into practice. See if God will not come to your rescue. See if the power of God will not overwhelm you. You need to be bold and courageous. The devil is 247 there to hinder you. 
It is the, those that have something. Remember that those that have the will of God, that the will of God is upon their life, that the enemy, the devil is after. Because you are a treasure to God. You are so precious to God. Araba cannot go to those that are having nothing. We have a place called Ajegule in Nigeria. We have the place we are calling Leki. When there was a riot, people went to Loki, Le, Leki to gate. They did not go to Ajegule. They did not go to other places there that people are poor. But they started a place to go that, that is of significance to the, to the government. Are you a child of God? Are you going to allow enemy to betray with you? Why not declare the word and see the power of God upon your life? Elijah said in the book of, I think, 2 Kings chapter 1, to those soldiers that King Ahazi had sent, he said, if I am a child of God, let fire come from heaven. He declares it and fire came from heaven. What of the servant Elisha? He was telling him how to run quick that the rain will soon fall. When he declares, then he saw that the rain came down. Are you a child of God? All these things you should know. Are you a baby Christian? Or you are cooked with the power of the Holy Ghost. You need to follow the principles of God. You need not to miss the worldly things with the things of God. So that all these things, somebody might be looking out, say, have I not been saying it? Have I not been asking? It's not working. Then check yourself, examine yourself. Many people today, they are having a handbag like locked. They are carrying those things that God did not send them. God spoke to Abraham, he declares, he said, you and your wife, leave your father and your mother and go to where? You are, the, you are going to be a father of all nations. But at almost 25 years there, Abraham was not having anything. Why? The declaration of God did not come to a manifestation. Why? The power of God was not seen the declaration of the word of God to Abraham and the wife Sarah because Abraham went with his nephew Lot, studied the word of God very well. When God says something concerning you and it's not manifesting, you are not seeing it, then check yourself, check in what? What are you harboring? What kind of environment are you staying? What kind of character are you exhibiting? These are the things we need to ask ourselves. Hallelujah. Power of declaration. The word of God is here. Amen. Isaiah 55, 15 says, 11, I beg your pardon. He said, my word has come to accomplish. The word of God is always here. Amen. The same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Beloved brothers and sisters, remember all these things. Amen. I want to take you to the book of Psalm 27, verse 13. Hallelujah. The Bible said, David was talking here, King David. He said, remain confident in, in the land of the living. He said, I will I, 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 he said, I remain confident in, in this, that I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Psalm 27, verse 13. David was declaring this. I don't know wherever you are. Like there is war, there are rumors of war. But wherever you set your foot, you will always possess your possession. Whether there is war, whether there is isolation, what you are going to use to possess your possession is in you. Those qualities, they are in you. God has already put them in you. Praise Master Jesus, somebody. I want to let you know all these things. As a child of God, you shouldn't be afraid. And the book of 1 John, tell John, what did it say? I wish above everything that prospereth. And the thought he has for you is for good, not for evil, to reach a very good and better end. Then Philippians 1 6 said, He who has started it. Did you see all these quotations? If you are not seeing all these things, then you, you have to go harder for fasting and praying. Jesus said, This thing can only be solved by fasting and praying. Continue seeking the face of God. In the book of Exodus, when God instructed Moses and Aaron to put blood on their door and window post. To kill all the firstborn of the Egyptians of those days and their first uh, servants and animals. But he came to them again through the prophet to speak to them that whatever they get in prayer, they have to keep it with prayer, they have to maintain it with prayer. Whatever that is ravaging in the land you are standing, whatever that is happening in your, in your family, beloved brothers and sisters, the word of God still remains faithful to you as a child of God. God is a spirit. Let us be very careful. Let us not distract. Let us be focused. Looking unto heaven where our help is coming from. Our help is coming from God Almighty. Hallelujah, somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want you to go to all this area of the Bible to go and look into them. Hallelujah. You have to declare with your mouth so that you will see all these things coming to pass in your life. I just want to round up here because of time factor, I don't want to take much of your time, 
Go back to the word of God again in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, 21 that says the, pa the, the power of life and death is in, is in our tongues. So when we use this word, we continue to see the good things God says concerning us. Hallelujah, somebody, because he has not said something that he has not come to manifestation. Hallelujah. You have to also go to the book of, I think, 2 Kings chapter 1, read from verses 1 that you will see the quotation where Elijah said, if I am a child of God, if I am a child of God, declaration the word, declaring the word of God through his mouth, then he saw the power in that declaration. Fire really came down. Are you a child of God? Remember also in the book of Kings, whether first or second king, I beg your pardon, go and check the what Elijah did. He's, I mean, Elisha. He sent his servant with his word. Go to the seaside because rain was about to come. He has told the half. He went up to several times before he saw a hand like a bruise. You understand me? In the sea area. So I don't know that thing you are praying and fasting for. Don't lose confidence. Don't lose hope, be beloved. Began to fast and pray. Began to sing praises to God. Began to live a holy life. Began to do all those things. God says you should do in the ministry he has put in you. All hope is not lost. If Elisha can send Gehazi in that book of 2 Kings to go to the seaside, it was the seven times the Bible said before he saw a hand and everywhere was that rain was about to fall. Who know how many times it takes? First time, second time, third time, fourth time. Praise Master Jesus, beloved brothers and sisters in law. This is where I will end up this uh, word of exhortation. Amen. Until I see you next time, I say keep on passing the Lord. For in Jesus' almighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.